Hi, my name is Gianna Cabrera. Welcome back. I'm nine years old. I live in Indiana. This month, prize stuff is everywhere. Stores, TV, libraries, on books, movies, and restaurants showing pride flags everywhere. Starbucks is uh, not very surprising. All for children every age. There's drag queen story hours now where they sit down, listen to a man dressed as a butt ugly lady reading a story. How can kids not see that this is very bad? Here's also a shocking story, even though it wasn't even Pride Month. Once at Mother Theodora Guerin at her shrine, we got into the building and we looked around saying our oohs and ahs. It was actually a very neat place. We saw a sign that said gift shop. Usually our family, we are always so excited about the gift shop. And once we were walking there i saw a banner it was like with a white sun rainbow rays shooting out i asked my sister is this okay she's like probably nothing to worry about and then once we step inside our minds blown there is pride stuff everywhere books that said i have two mommies or i want to change my gender the night before pride month I don't know. Also stuffed animals with the rainbow ribbons, rainbow poppets, in a holy place. In a holy place. If Mother Theodore Guerin stood right there with us, she would be so sad, so disappointed. That's how we felt. Furious. So we asked the lady at the front desk, why is this here? We don't get it. She said, well, you know about the Black Lives Matter people and the Pride people and the pro-abortion people? We want them to come into our community by showing them their beliefs. What the heck does that mean? You're trying to change their belief and you show them their old belief. That's not going to do anything at all. There was like this teenage girl that looked like she was in her 20s. She was blushing and just walked out the room. She looked like she was very embarrassed. We looked around the store one more time and we saw more and more. There was even like very inappropriate little patches and pins or pro-abortion rules and stuff like that. <sighs> Archbishop Thompson, I've sent a letter to you. You haven't replied to me. I'm doing this video asking you, why are you allowing this? You need to stand up for this. You can't just let this happen, hoping for another person to solve this. These people need the truth in their hearts and they don't really see it. They need you. They look up to you. We need you to do something. We can't stand, we can't stand it anymore. It's everywhere. Kids see this, teenagers see this, and babies. The world doesn't make sense anymore. Everyone has been changing little kids' minds. If I was just a little kid who didn't even know about this, didn't really care, I would like open a book, see disgusting, disturbing images. Archbishop Thompson, please do something for the children.